here is a brief tutorial for Audacity. To get to Audacity, click on Start, then All Programs, and you will find it right here, usually near the bottom. And it will open up a window that looks like this. And make sure your microphone is set for rear input, because that's where our mics happen to be plugged in. Once you're sure that's set correctly, go ahead and hit this shiny red button here to record. And as you can see, when I speak, it makes squiggly blue lines. If I stop speaking, the squiggly blue lines stop. If I need to pause in my recording, I will hit these two parallel blue lines here. And that stops the recording, but only temporarily. I can't do anything else until I either hit the stop button or I hit the pause button again, and it'll start recording where I left off. If I hit the stop button, and then I hit the record button again, it'll start recording as an additional track which is not necessarily what you would want in most cases because now it's playing both of those simultaneously when I do the playback and you can rearrange it I can use this tool here the move tool I can take that and drag this second recording let me shrink this down so you can see better There we go. I can move this recording so it starts after the other one ends. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. And now when this recording stops, this one will start playing again. So you can have more than one track and have them all work together. Now, once you have your recording all done, and it's just the way you like it, well, maybe you'll want to cut some stuff out. I can use this tool here. Come down here, select an area I don't want. In this case, it's this spot where I was silent as a demonstration. And I can hit play to see if I really don't want that. Yeah, all I'm hearing there is static, so I don't want that. I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard, and now it's gone forever. I might want to move this over so that I don't have an empty spot there, which would also play a silence. All right, now I am ready to save this. I'm going to click on File. I am going to click on Save Project. And I get this warning. I can just click through this. It asks me where I want to save it. You should save it in your My Documents folder. In this case, this is just a sample. I'm going to save it to the desktop, but you should save it to your My Documents folder. And that's not something you can hand in. That's something that you can go back and edit later. As you can see, it saved it as two things. It saved it as a file. That's an Audacity file. And it saved it as a folder that if I open that up, it has all the audio files, the actual audio files that were recorded. That was rather short, so there's not many of them, but the longer you're recording, the more of these there will be. And this tells Audacity what order these should be in, so you need all of them. Now, you can't hand it in like this. It won't work very well. You need to export your podcast as an MP3. Here's how to do that. Start off by clicking on File. Now go down to Export as MP3, and it'll get a warning. You can click through that, and it'll ask where you want to save it. In this case, again, you should be saving your stuff to your My Documents folder. This is a sample. I'm going to save this to the desktop. I recommend changing the name so you can tell the difference between your Audacity project and the final MP3. Don't bother with adding a suffix. The program will do that for you click save and I have this error message. So this is the first time I've ever used Audacity on this particular computer so I need to tell where the lame encoder is. You'll need to do this too the first time you save a podcast as an mp3 on your computer. After that it'll remember. I'm gonna click yes and now I need to find that particular file type. Fortunately I know where it is. Click on my computer Double click on local disk C, double click on program files, and in 
the second column is usually where it'll be. It's alphabetical order. You will see a folder called Lame for Audacity. If I double click on that, there's only one file I can see. I double click on that, and that's the file. There's a bunch of options you can take care of here. I'm not going to worry about those too much. You don't have to fill those in to improve your grade. Just click OK, and you'll get a progress bar. Mine went away really fast because that was a really short sample podcast. Yours will probably be there for anywhere between a minute to five minutes, depending on how long your podcast is and how many tracks you had. And now I have an MP3. Notice how the icon is different for the exported MP3 versus the Audacity file. When you upload your project to Edmodo, this is the file that you're going to upload. If you upload this, I won't be able to assess it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.